The SC10 Shark is an entry-level 3D printer from Lotmax that has a handful of interesting features and a host of optional upgrades such as auto bed leveling, dual extrusion, and laser engraving. This machine will be up on Kickstarter starting at 250 US dollars Let's take a closer look. This machine features dual gear extruders for optimal filament feeding, and each extruder has filament detection. The print volume on this machine is 235 by 235 on the X and Y, and 265 on the Z. One thing you'll notice is the pendant style touchscreen interface, a nice departure from the standard LCD and click wheel interface of printers in this price bracket. While the UI could use some work and has a wipe style transition effect that makes it feel slightly less responsive, it's an interesting attempt at fixing the prevalent bad encoder. To upgrade the firmware, which you'll have to do to enable the auto bed level sensor or switch into dual extrusion mode, you simply drop the firmware files on the SD card and the machine auto updates on next startup. Pretty handy, no Arduino bootloaders here. The machine comes bundled with a reskinned version of Cura, which is a great free slicer and has a plug-in for laser engraving. Print quality is similar to the Ender 3. I find budget printers like this take a little bit of time to tune, but can achieve great results once you've found the correct settings. Take note that the blobbing on these models is a result of my time-lapse setup not being fully calibrated and can be easily cleaned off. I think this level of print quality is more than acceptable for my first wave of calibrations. Right out of the box this machine comes in single extruder mode and boasts a hot end assembly with three parts cooling fans. Since the machine uses the Trinamic stepper drivers, the part cooling and hot end fans are responsible for a majority of the printer noise, and I think a single blower style fan would have been a better choice here. The auto bed leveling sensor is a $20 upgrade and works as intended. Again, you'll have to upgrade the firmware to enable this. Adding the dual extrusion upgrade will set you back $30. Attaching the second extruder and switching to the dual extrusion hot end is relatively painless. Some care has to be taken when reinstalling the heater cartridge and thermistor as not to damage the wires. The dual extrusion print quality was okay. I would need some more time to tune for this to match the print quality I was getting with the single extruder, but I didn't encounter any jams, which is a huge win for the machine. For an additional $80, you can get a laser engraver attachment as well. The mount point for this is the same as the auto bed leveling sensor, so you'll have to remove that in order to use it. All the attachments plug into their respective ports in the front of the machine. Handy for swapping them in and out, but a little unsightly when it comes to cable management. I found the laser engraving to be okay. I don't have the proper ventilation in my shop to be laser engraving, so I didn't do too much of this. I could have probably gotten some better results given some more settings tweaks. Overall, I really like this machine. I think it's a great option for a budget dual extrusion machine. 
It's highly upgradable, even more so than the comparable Ender 3, thanks to its easy firmware updating. I think the optional laser is an added bonus for this machine at this price point. Keep in mind that you can purchase these upgrades down the road and Kickstarter backers will receive a slight discount when doing so. If you think this machine would be a good addition to your workshop, you can check out their Kickstarter that I'll link in the video description. Bear in mind the risks of a Kickstarter. Although this one seems pretty low risk as it's already fully funded at the time of recording, they also plan to ship the machines out relatively soon.